I went over your arrest record. I see you're a sixth class offender. You had 11 DWI arrests uh, and 10 other arrests involving alcohol and drugs. Tell me what the problem is. I'm an addict. You're an addict. Yes, sir. I've had some problems and I see I see you've been in a transactional work program for a pretty good while. And uh let me ask you something. You were using alcohol and you've been on meth, uh cocaine. Tell me tell me what do you think the the solution to this is? Well, it's to stay away from the people that I was around when all this was going on. I mean, as far as the drug situation and everything, um, I've been trying to, you know, do right. You know, I've been working for almost two years in the work release program, you know, and just trying to focus on to do the right thing. Well, you know, there's nobody said you couldn't work, but the problem I've had is get you you got to get off from drugs. Oh, what about the long-term substance abuse? Have you uh, looked into taking any long-term substance abuse program? Well, I've taken my classes that um, I was offered in, uh, since I've been incarcerated. I went, you know, in AA meetings and things. Uh, took um, taking risk management. I've taken uh, living in balance. I was in uh, uh, opiate and alcohol abuse class in that was a three month program. You went three times a week, two hour, two times a day, two hours, well, four hours a day, a, a, a day. I did that and I've taken a re-entry, but that is not for, that was it. But you know, you've been in the transitional work program since 925 of 19. What's your job there at the transitional work program? The one I have now, um, I work in um, housekeeping at Best Western, and I do laundry and clean rooms. When was your last disciplinary ride up? I've never had one. You've never had a disciplinary ride up? No, sir, not at all. Where is some of your family at today that would be speaking for you or someone you may be living with or someone, or where is any of your family at? Uh, they're at home in Bossier City. My mother didn't know how to um, to do it, to be on the, uh, the video. Zoom. Well, let me ask them, how many times do you think you've been arrested? Oh, I don't know. Too many. I'm ashamed of it. Probably about 25 to 30 times you've been arrested. I'm sorry. Either alcohol, drugs, or something. You've got to get a hold of this, start getting in some programs. I'm going to tell you, you're a sex offender. One of the things that scares me to death is, is uh, when you're drinking and driving or using drugs, substance abuse and driving. I have a problem with it. Uh, you're and you're at the age you've you've got to stop. I know you now. Are you going to be? And you have a out date on five sixteen to twenty two. You've done almost five hundred days of credits since you've been there. Uh, you've done some good things since you've been there, but I think you need to do more. I don't have any other questions. Uh, at this at this time, uh, no other questions here that I see. Anything you'd like to say to the board before we vote? I just um, hope that you would uh, give me a chance to to prove that I can do the right thing. I've been here in work release for two years. I've um, I've grown. I've, I've, I want to I want to do right. I want to do right by my family and everything. I've lost a lot of people in my uh, family since uh, I've been incarcerated. And I don't have no desire to do any drugs or drinking or anything anymore. And I plan on going to AA meetings and going to uh, celebrate and recovery and things like that.
when I get out. Okay. All right, Ms. Lisa, at this time, uh, uh, the board will be voting. Uh, your, your case has been assigned to me. Today, I'm going to be voting to deny. I think you need to work on some more programs. You're a sixth class offender. Uh, you've had, I looked at the DWI arrest. I was amazed. Usually when they say that many arrests, you probably had double that. that never was brought up. But today, my vote is going to be to deny. I think you need more programs and you set up as a moderate risk. Uh, Mr. Roche. Uh, Ms. Grantham. Yes, sir. Based upon the entire legal community with your criminal uh, background as voice that they're opposed to the early release, the sentencing judge, the DA's office, the sheriff's office, you have a very high risk assessment because of your record. And by the grace of God, you have not lamed or injured or killed anybody while drinking and under the influence. And personally, I think you're a risk to public safety. And as long as you're a risk to public safety, I will not vote to release you early. So my vote is to deny your request. Mr. Marabello. Ms. Grantham, mm -hmm. uh, I, I agree with everything that's been said by my colleagues. I hope that you can get some programs that might be able to help you uh, while you're there. But my vote today, based upon all the things that have already been said, uh, my vote today would be to deny. And today the vote has been to deny your parole because of the reasons stated. You are set up as a high risk and you're a sixth class defender with over 10 AWIs. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that'll conclude our hearing. I want to thank each and every one. This is her. This is her mug shot when she was arrested. Uh, I guess about three years before the time of this hearing date. Um, you know, she looks just much better in prison, in my opinion. And you know, it's interesting. No write-ups. She's doing fine on work release with the structure, but she is in absolute danger to society living amongst us. And, you know, they gave her a 15 year sentence, which all I can say is about time. How is it possible that you can have, I mean, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jim Wise is interviewed all over the place. I'm pretty sure he mentioned sex offense ones, which is not what she's in for. And he, he said that she has 11 DUIs, 10 DUIs, but she has a lot of DUIs. And it's like, how, how is that possible? But we have seen it. We have seen so many. We have seen a bunch where um, they they are in for vehicular homicide, and the DA sometimes if they show up or the victims or the parole board says, "Wow, you know, you this this was your, you had been arrested eight times for DUI before you then ran some took someone's life in the car," and it's just how a judge lets this happen how they let it them get away with it is only mind blowing to me. Um, but thankfully they, uh, thankfully the right thing was done here and they denied her good time is 2033. So we've got, we've got nine more years of, of driving safe in Louisiana or a little bit safer. And I hope they, they keep denying her. You cannot, there, there is, it comes down to, can you, can you flip a coin? Can you flip a coin and say, let her back out? Because no, no, at a certain point you lose that opportunity. Um, you can't be trusted. That's, that's plain and simple. Mm. 
Um, yeah, with that, I'll let you go.